I'm K2U 11 Morning News anchor Kimberly Davis. Be fast, a helpful acronym you need to know that could potentially be life saving. Balance loss, eyesight changes, face drooping, arm weakness, speech difficulty, and finally, time to call 911. I felt bad. It was unusually bad. I had a headache that I couldn't get rid of. Strokes can take a serious toll on your memory, but for Joyce Wiley, she remembers Tuesday, April 12th, 2022, quite well. I called the ambulance. They came, asked me for my medicine. My head was hurting so much, I just threw it in their arms. Miss Wiley, as she's known in her community, was having a stroke, a hemorrhagic stroke to be precise, a blood vessel burst in her brain. That leak was causing her brain tissue to die. Dr. Angel Sharif as a neurologist with UT Physicians. That stroke, even though it's only about 15%, is um, more likely to be associated with uh, morbidity, so a lot of disability after stroke, and higher risk of dying from that type of stroke. Time is critical after suffering a stroke. Loss of brain cells is determined by each minute that a stroke goes untreated. Thankfully, Miss Wiley made it to the hospital in time, but it was the recovery process where she realized she would need to become her own advocate and for other stroke survivors. We don't have the resources. We have to depend on our primary care physicians who don't know anything about strokes because they haven't had the training on the brain. Miss Wiley, who once sat on several boards, has since slowed down and has this word of advice. Be an advocate for your body. Listen to your body. And if you think something is wrong and you're not seeing the right doctor, keep at it because there's a doctor somewhere that can help you. Strokes are preventable up to 80%, in fact, if you address the risk factors. One of the major contributing factors is high blood pressure. For KGU 11, I'm Kimberly Davis.